Hello! In today's video, we're going to go through 10 gadgets that I cannot live without as a solution architect. Disclaimer first, this is not a sponsored video. Also, I have very, very short attention span. That means if I remake this video in a year time, probably some of the recommendations will be different. But without further ado, let's go to the home section. First, at the home section, we have this baby. This is a Dual God uh, Taolus K320 key mechanic keyboard. I do like a good mechanic keyboard. The sound of it makes me very, very happy. And this is a gaming keyboard. I do use it for work. It's highly customizable. That means that they will send you, you have to order it. Then they will send you a numpad that with different keys of different strings and different clicky sounds. So you can test it out, what key strings you like and what clicky sounds you like. And then you can order the keys together with the board and make your perfect ideal keyboard. I do use it for gaming as well as for work. And the way I do it is through a little gadget called KVM switch. So this looks like this. Essentially on one side, it's got the HDMI, uh, the mouse and the keyboard uh, goes into it. And on the other side, it connects to two different computers with the HDMI on each side, as well as the USB-A on each side. That uh, controls both the keyboard and the mouse. And there's a little button in between. When it's green, it goes to my work computer. I'm controlling my work computer with my keyboard, mouse, and monitor. If I press it, it goes to the uh, personal computer and my um, keyboard, my mouse, my monitor will go to my personal computer. So it's quite convenient without having to double up on your gadgets. You can just switch between different gadgets like that. And next thing I have is this little USB hub. Uh, I didn't need it until a month ago, um, until basically I downgraded from a 16 inch MacBook Pro to a 13 inch MacBook Pro. Um, in that process, I lost a charging port as well as a US, uh, no, actually HDMI port. What I have left is two USB C ports, one of which has to be used for charging. I don't know which Apple Genius thought it was a good idea to channel through everything you have through one USB-C. I cannot live like that. So I bought this, which is a USB-C uh, hub that both of the um, USB-C goes into your computer. And down the other side, it's got a USB-C for um, the charging HDMI that goes to my KVM. Um, if you don't have a KVM switch, then it just goes directly to your monitor two of the USB-A um, ports, as well as an additional USB-C port. And there's a couple of SD card slots as well, as if it's 2008, I guess. Um, apart from that, I also have a, that side. This is a Wacom. Uh, graphic drawing tablets. I use it for whiteboarding to draw uh, architectural diagrams with my customers. And it comes with a pen that doesn't need charging. Some people use it for uh, mouse as well. I'm not that advanced. Some people draw Japanese anime and what have you using these. It's quite convenient. Um, this is a small size. Uh, you can also buy bigger sizes. Um, or one of those fancy ones with a LED um, display um, come with the drawing board. You would notice that in the home section that I'm not recommending a mouse to you. This is because I got tiny baby hands, so I have tiny baby mouse. That's probably not suitable for everybody to use, so I'm not making a recommendation on that front. In terms of trouble section, we have a few things. So first of all, uh, we got this folding keyboard. This is Moco. 
And it's quite convenient because one, it connects to your laptop through Bluetooth, so it doesn't take up any of the USB-C ports. And also the key size are quite decent. While I get tiny baby hands, I also have very fat fingers, which is a killer combination. Um, that means I can't work with some tiny portable keyboards um, that has tiny keys. So these actually come with decent key size. The layout of it is a little bit awkward to start with. It takes some getting used to, but once you're getting used to it, it's pretty easy. Plus it's foldable, which means it's less kind of prone to dust and everything, and it's very lightweight. So I quite like this one. Another staple in my travel tech bag is this. This is a Microsoft Arc mouse. And when it's flat like this, it's super easy to carry with you in your tag bag. And uh, when you are arching it like this, it will activate and connect to your computer uh, through Bluetooth again. So very convenient. I've been using this for years and years. The next thing I have is a clicker. And any clicker would do. I carry this with you everywhere I go to conferences, to client sites. This is because when I'm speaking, I notice not all the conferences will offer you a clicker. So I always carry mine with me, as well as at client sites. Um, I've always noticed a different energy in the room when I'm standing up speaking, clicking through the slides using a clicker versus when I'm sitting down and having this discussion with the customer. This one, comes with a connector that is either USB-A or USB-C, so quite convenient like this. And also, um, this is mini USB charged, so you don't have to change battery. Also have a little laser pointer if you want to point to the screen, quite convenient like that. And the next one I have is a multi-charging cable. This is Xoper. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name. This is Mr. Bio 4 in 1. So, um, because a lot of gadgets I have are either USB C or mini USB or Apple charger, it's quite inconvenient to have to bring like three different chargers with me or charging cables. So, I just have this one. On one hand, it can charge either USB A or USB C from the adapter, and then it's got a mini USB. Um, USB-C as well as the Apple charger. So this is the only cable I need. The next one is my absolute favorite. I do carry it with me everywhere I go. This is called Books and this is a digital notebook. Um, this is Books Note 3. Um, it is slightly more expensive than its counterpart of Remarkable and other brands, but I do like it a lot. And I do like that feeling of pen to paper. And I used to have a notebook for learning Korean, a notebook for learning Rust, a notebook for learning whatever. And it's quite messy. Now I just have one notebook and I organize it in folders. I do carry it everywhere with me, especially go to conferences. It's really good for whiteboarding. I can't count how many architecture diagrams I've drawn on the back of a napkin or back of a flyer. Now I just draw everything on books. Also, I um, carry it with me when I'm traveling on the plane or in the train, in the tube. I write down my random thoughts and later I might consolidate these thoughts into blogs or YouTube videos. So it's quite convenient like that. And the last thing I will recommend is my Kindle. So I, when I'm not traveling, I have to read. And this is why I carry a Kindle with me everywhere. Kindle comes in, in in different forms. You might have Kindle on your phone. I do like to carry a, a, a separate Kindle device just because it's more friendly to my eyes. And yeah, um, happy reading, I suppose. I hope this uh, video has been helpful to you. Um, if you like the content, please give me a like to the video, subscribe to my channel. If there is anything you recommend for me to try out, please comment. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.